What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I show you how to make a clean mascot text logo in Photoshop. So guys, since my last design tutorial did so well, a lot of you have been requesting for more and it's been a while since then so I thought why not make a new one. This time I thought I would do something different from the banner tutorials and show you how to make this really cool esports like text effect inside Photoshop. Although this could be created inside Illustrator, I understand that a lot of you do not have access to that. Also in my personal opinion, it's just as easy if not easier to create this within Photoshop. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin with this tutorial. I'll Oh, and also uh, 500 likes on this video and I will give you guys the PSD download to this in the description down below but yeah let's get started. So guys in order to create this text effect it's actually a lot more simple than you may think. So first of all we need to make a brand new document as you may have guessed. In order to do this really simple just head over to file select new and from here you can enter in your width and height. Now for me I'm using 1920 by 1080 this creates a nice large document for us to work with. I have my resolution on 72 and the background contents on black and once you have entered that in you can press create and as you can see like I said you will have a nice size document to work with. From here select anywhere on your document and you can just type in your text so I'm going to use eSport purely because that's what I typed in for the example here so I'm just going to keep consistent and stick with that. You may notice here that I'm using a different font to you this is one that I have downloaded in order to use for the tutorial of course as you can see in the example it works really well so if you do want to download it I will leave a link to that in the description down below really easy just download it install it and it will be in your Photoshop so from there you can go ahead make the color white at the top really easy to do and uh, you can also increase the size of the text using this little scroll bar at the top or alternatively you can press ctrl t hold down alt and shift and you can increase it that way so for me i'm going to make the size of it fairly big so it does cover up the majority of the document you also want to make sure your text is in the center uh, really easy to do just press ctrl r and enable your rulers if you haven't already you then want to drag and drop the lines from the rulers into the center of the document like so they will snap into place and from there you can just press ctrl t and you can move this about i'm going to make sure that it's a little bit up from the middle so around about there we are now going to add a very simple layer style onto this text so head over to the right hand side where the layers are double click on the text layer and that will open up the layer styles page if your text isn't already white then just click on color overlay and make sure you have a full white overlay color selected press ok and from here you can now head over to stroke we are now going to alter some of these settings so just make sure you copy them down size you want on two position inside blend mode normal opacity 100 and as for the color you want to select a nice off-white color so just drag down from the white around about here should do uh, you don't want to drag down too much around about there it doesn't matter if it's not exact um, but once you have selected a similar color press ok and ok again and you will now be finished with the main layer style we are now going to create some highlights on this text and as you can see on my example it creates a nice sort of gradient like effect in order to do this just make sure the text layer is selected press ctrl j on your keyboard to duplicate that layer and now double click on it to open up the layer styles page from here you want to head over to stroke and you want to click on the color which should should be that off-white color you made previously just copy that hex code there at the bottom which is the exact color uh, you can just press ctrl c in order to copy that press ok and you can now remove the stroke head over to color overlay select the full white color and now just press ctrl v on your keyboard the text will now be a sort of light gray color you can just press ok and ok again to exit out of the layer styles tab after that you want to add an effect however we need to rasterize the text before doing so uh, to make it a normal layer so just right click on that new text layer go to rasterize type and uh, you can also right click on it again and go to rasterize layer style and as you can see it will be slightly different to the bottom one because it's a normal layer instead of a text layer from here what you want to do is go to filter at the top select other and choose maximum um, as you can see you will get this new window pop up now what you want to do is mess around with the radius um, I've got mine on six pixels just because it works perfectly for me however you can increase it if 
you wish. The preserve, you want to make sure that that is on roundness and from there you can just press OK. As you can see, this covers way too much of the text. So we are going to actually cut the top part just so it shows on the bottom and it creates the highlight effect. To cut the top part, really simple. You can do it many different ways. I would just grab your rectangle marquee tool just below the move tool, select just over half of the text, actually a lot more than half, around about here will do. Um, it does depend on the text that you've wrote, but just something similar to this and just press delete on your keyboard. And as you can see, it will now only be at the bottom of the text. Personally, I think the highlight effect is a little bit too much. So what I am going to do is grab the opacity slider here and just decrease it slightly to around about 70% and as you can see it's um, not as strong. We are now going to add a nice sort of stroke outline that follows the text. We are going to do this a bit differently to how you may do it. Um, of course I know a lot of people may just go ahead and add a stroke effect and as you can see you can do it this way uh, but the outcome isn't going to be as good. As you can see you will get these rounded edges and it's just not going to look as good. If I go to my example here you can see the edges are really sharp and it works a lot better for this logo type. So in order to do this really simple, you just want to make sure that you have your original text layer selected. Just press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate that layer and now select the bottom one. From here, what you want to do is double click on that layer. You want to get rid of the stroke, go to color overlay and uh, you can select a random color. It doesn't really matter for now because we will be changing it in a second. From here, what you want to do is right click on that text layer and go to rasterize type. You can also rasterize the layer style again as we did for the other one and now head back over to filter select other however this time we are going to choose the minimum option as you can see a new window will pop up once again this time we are going to make sure that where it says preserve at the bottom squareness is selected uh, it may be on roundness which I believe is the default so just go ahead and change that there and uh, from here you want to mess around with the sizing of it so I'm going to put mine on I reckon around about 28 works really well you can of course increase it or decrease it it's completely up to you but I'm going to go with that and press OK once you are happy with it. You may think that this red is disgusting. Don't worry, I agree. As I said before, we are going to change the color of it. So uh, just make sure that your outline layer is selected. Double click on it to open up the layer styles page. Head over to color overlay and uh, you want to select a nice dark blue color. Personally, the hex code color that I went with is 0F. 1B32. So you can note that down or you can just choose a dark blue color that is similar. And uh, yeah, once you're happy with that, just press OK and OK again to exit out of the layer styles window. Although this text is looking really nice, we do need to add another stroke going around it just to make it stand out even more. So in order to do that, all you want to do is make sure that your new outline layer is selected. Just press Ctrl J on that layer and uh, that will go ahead and duplicate it. And you can now select that bottom layer, double click on it. It, change the color of it to any random color just so we can see it in a second and uh, we are now going to repeat the similar steps so head over to filter go to other and select minimum once again however this time we are going to decrease the radius size I'm going to put mine on around about uh, 17 I think that works really well you can increase it as I said if you wish uh, but yeah I think that works well press ok once you are happy with it and as you can see we have a nice outline on the text Anyways, now from here, we are going to change the color of this new outline layer. So uh, just double click on it, go to color overlay. And this time we are going to select a nice bright blue color. So the one that I went with personally um, is not going to let me copy. Oh, there we go. Um, hashtag 64D5FF. Uh, now you can copy that one down or you can select any color you wish. However, I think this one works really well with the color scheme. But yeah, once you are happy with the color, just press OK and OK again to exit out of the layer styles window. You have now completed the main text. Now I will be showing you how to add uh, this sort of secondary text at the top. Say for example, your esports team or whatever you're creating this text effect for has two words in it then of course this will work perfectly um, however if it's just one you can keep it how it is but I will be showing you this as an optional thing so you want to first of all grab your text tool click anywhere on your screen and just type in your text so I'm gonna write your you want to make sure that your text isn't too big something around about here will work well and uh, from here you also want to make sure that it is centered in your canvas so if you haven't got your ruler lines back on control 
control H in order to enable and disable them and uh, just make sure that that top text there is nice and centered. Now, personally, I think the top text is looking very basic compared to this bottom one here. So I am going to add the same highlights effect that I did on the other one. In order to do this, you may remember it's really simple. Just press control J on that text layer in order to duplicate it. From here, you want to change the color of it. So go and click on the layer styles, go to color overlay and click on the color. From here, you can use the eyedropper tool to select that sort of a light gray color that we had on the other highlights and that will go ahead and copy the exact same color. So you can press OK and OK again to exit out of that layer styles tab. From here, of course, you will need to rasterize that layer in order to add the highlight effect. So right click on it, go to rasterize type. From here, you want to then go to filter, select other and uh, I believe, yes, it was maximum that we selected. Make sure the preserve is on roundness and just mess around with the radius size. So I'm going to put mine on 3.5, that works well and just press OK once you're done. As we did on the other one, we are going to remove the top half of this. So just grab your marquee tool, which is uh, M on your keyboard and just press delete on your keyboard. And as you can see, maybe that was a bit too much actually. Um, I'll just go back, do a little bit less. There we go. Um, as you can see, it will create that nice highlight effect on the text. I also did this on the last one, but I am going to select on this uh, new highlighted text layer thing. And I'm going to actually decrease the opacity of it just so it isn't as strong. The next thing we need to do is add these nice lines going either side of the top text. Really, really simple to do. Uh, just make a brand new layer above everything. Head over to your rectangle marquee tool and uh, basically just make a rectangle. I do recommend having your rulers on and just dragging them um, either side of the text so you make sure that it is the right length as I've done here and uh, from there you just want to of course highlight a nice sort of rectangle keep the size fairly similar to this and uh, once you're happy with it just right click on that go to fill and uh, select color. From there, you want to select this nice sort of light blue color that we used on the uh, stroke of the main text. Press OK and OK again. As you can see, you will now have that nice rectangle. Press Control D in order to deselect it. And now using your marquee tool, you want to uh, basically create a box around your text as I've done here. Um, creating room either side, then press delete on your keyboard. And if you press control D in order to deselect it, you will be able to see it's created this nice line effect going either side of the text. As I said, this looks really nice. The um, only issue with it though um, is it's only one color. And if I zoom in on my example here, you can see I also added the dark blue color. So in order to do that, really simple, make sure that new layer you created, uh, the uh, rectangle one is selected press control J on your keyboard to duplicate it. From here, you want to double click on the layer, go to color overlay, select the color, and using the eyedropper tool, you want to select that nice dark blue color we had. Press OK and OK again to exit out of it. You then want to right click on the layer and go to create clipping mask. And now using your move tool, you want to simply go ahead and move this down. Um, I use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to make it a little bit more accurate. A ac accurate, I can't speak. But yeah, you want to move it down so it's around about half and half. So you have the blue on the top and the dark blue on the bottom. And if you zoom out here, uh, of course, disable the rulers. So you can see this looks really nice. Anyways, guys, that's it for the eSports text cool effect tutorial. I have no idea what to call it. If it did go on to help you, then make sure to leave a like. That would be much appreciated. And it shows me you would like to see more tutorials like this in the future. Once again, 500 likes on this video, and I will give you guys the PSD file to this. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on as well, and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And finally, Finally guys, if you are looking to improve any of your graphic design skills within Photoshop, then make sure to check out my design store, the link is below. Over there, I have a load of personal packs that I use when creating designs, so yeah, make sure to go ahead and check that out. Anyways, as always, hopefully you did go on to enjoy. This has been Visual or James, and I'm out. Peace.